Hi guys! Today I'll show you how to make sambar in the Instant Pot Mini. This recipe will show you the quantity this Instant Pot Mini can handle. That's helpful since there aren't many recipes available specific to the Instant Pot Mini. You can also use the same recipe for a larger Instant Pot or any pressure cooker. I'll leave a link below with all the ingredients and measurements. I'll also leave links to other recipes I've done with the Instant Pot and Mini as well as the full reviews. There are many different ways to make sambar depending on where in India you're from. The ingredients vary even within each state. Today I'll show you my favorite easy Kerala sambar because that's where my family's from. Sambar can be eaten at any time of day with doshas, idlis or rice. Dosha recipe is coming soon. We'll need tur dal or split pigeon peas. Wash the dal with some water. See the water getting cloudy? Pour off this water and do this two more times. Put the drained tur dal into the pot, ground turmeric, coarse salt and water. Put the lid on, turn the handle to ceiling. Press pressure cook or manual, whichever button is on your unit and set the time to 10 minutes. After the cycle is finished, turn the unit off and let the steam release naturally. While the dal is cooking, prepare the vegetables. You can use any variety of vegetables. I'll show you what I like in my sambar. Generally, you need one starchy vegetable like a potato or yam, one melon, and a type of green bean. Carrot is optional. Tomatoes and onions are found in most sambars. Okra and eggplant are also common additions. I leave them out because they're a little slimy. This is bottle gourd. They're usually large and we only need about a third of one. Peel it and take out the seeds and pith. Cut it into large cubes. None of the vegetables should be cut very small, otherwise they'll overcook. This is about one cup of the gourd, one medium red onion sliced thick, and one medium carrot cut up, one tomato sliced into thick pieces, and one medium potato cut up. These are drumsticks which are always found in sambar. I can only get it frozen. Use about eight pieces. This is about one cup of long beans cut up into two inch pieces. These beans are hardier and have a stronger flavor than regular string beans. You can substitute frozen Italian green beans which are flat or any other green bean. For tempering we'll need coconut oil. You see it's nice and melted because it's summer. Usually it's thick and white in most of my videos. Ground turmeric, a sprig or two of curry leaves. These are giant leaves for some reason. Usually they're much smaller. Coriander seeds which I'll grind in my coffee grinder. You can use already ground coriander if you like. Two dried red chilies, mustard seeds, and hing or asafoetida. This is tamarind which is added to sambar for sourness. It comes in a block like this. Just cut off a small piece. Pour boiling water over it and let it sit. I'm also using a little bit of jaggery or brown sugar. The tamarind and jaggery are added at the end and according to taste. After the natural release, here is our cooked tur dal. It should be soft just like this. Add all the vegetables and water. Let's not forget the melon, it just fits. Add salt and sambar powder. I'm adding two tablespoons. If you're using a store-bought powder, taste it before you add it because sometimes it can be very spicy. If it is spicy, add just one and a half tablespoons of the powder. Otherwise, add two. If you want more heat, you can add a half a teaspoon of red chili powder. Give it a mix. It comes just up to the two-thirds max line. Put the lid on. The handle should be turned to ceiling. Press pressure cook or manual and set the time to 5 minutes. After the cycle ends, turn the unit off, wait 8 minutes and release the pressure. Open the lid and you can see the vegetables are not overcooked. They're cooked but hold their shape. You don't want them to fall apart. Turn the unit back on to the saute function or the pressure cook. Either should work. Taste and add salt if you need to. By this time the tamarind has soaked well. Mash it with a spoon and we'll use the water. I'm adding two tablespoons. Taste and add more if you need to. A little bit of jaggery. Mix it well and now we'll do the final step of tempering. Heat up a pan and add coconut oil. When it's hot, add the mustard seeds. When they pop, add the red chilies then the curry leaves. Turn the heat off, add the hing, turmeric and ground coriander. Mix it for a minute.
Add this to the sambar. Take some of the liquid and get all the seasonings out of the pot. Our sambar is ready. Turn the unit off. I cover the pot and leave it for an hour or two. Sambar gets thicker as it sits and tastes better the longer it sits. If you can't wait, go ahead and eat it. It's fine. The sambar will last in the fridge for about five days. I'll be putting up a dosha batter video soon, so subscribe to stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.